Hello you guys, it's Melanie again. I am a rising second year information technology student from Atlanta, Georgia by way of Miami, Florida. And this is my video on orientation. I know this is kind of overdue because some people are already at orientation as we speak. But um, just for everybody else, they'll be doing orientation for the next like month. So I'm sure this will help you still. So here we go. As far as what to bring, I will of course clothes, bring comfortable clothes because you're going to do a lot of walking around campus as far as campus tours and whatnot. Um, it's going to be deathly hot, like I'm talking about hot, like depending on where you're from, it's going to be a new kind of hot. It's not Miami hot, it's not Atlanta hot, it's not Las Vegas hot, like Tallahassee heat is something else. So please be mindful that it's going to be hot, bring sandals, sneakers, whatever is comfortable for you. Don't be trying to be all extra cute and fine, making the first impression at orientation. You will fall out, okay? Just dress cute but comfortable and cool. Cute, comfortable, and cool. That's ice dress. Also, don't bring, don't bring anything that's extra expensive because people do seal. So make sure you have like locks, like little pad locks or something for your suitcase to lock it up when you're not in your room. Lock your door at all times. It depends on where you're staying, how many roommates you have. I had two roommates. We stayed in Cropper. But, you know, whatever. Just have your door locked at all times. Make sure your roommate locks the door because you don't want anybody to come to your room taking things that would suck. And that wouldn't be a good first impression. Bring an umbrella because it probably will rain because, you know, it's summer, whatever. Um, bring an umbrella because when I went to orientation, it stormed. So bring an umbrella. Make sure you have like some rain boots something if you have rain boots bring those whatever prepare for any kind of weather because Tallahassee weather is bipolar and you don't know what to do. bring all important documents that you have like your immunization um, papers your acceptance letter any important documents your SAT scores AP scores because if you got a good grade on your AP if you got a good score on your AP test and you go to sign up for classes to um, show that to your advisor so they won't have to put you in that class. Okay, once you arrive at FAMU for orientation, you go to the Grand Ballroom and it's going to be a bunch of tables set up around the Grand Ballroom and you go, you go sign up, you sign in, make sure that you find your name, they give you a name tag and all that and you get the, the lanyard with your name on it and it shows the group you're in for orientation your orientation leader is then you go turn in your immunization papers make sure everything that is straight and then the fun part make sure you're cute for the birthday of orientation because you take your picture for your rally card so this is the rally card y'all get it at orientation um it's the issue date right here can't see it for real but yeah then you take your picture and then like that the next day i think yeah the next day you get your rally card. Get a bag you get a bag at, in registration that has everything you need for orientation and it has like a guide and like with the itinerary all your orientation leaders in the packet and information about FAMU and all that financial aid and all the seminars going on and it also has like papers for your parents to sign and all that. Orientation leaders are FAMU students that, you know, work for FAMU to help run orientation. They're really cool. I know some of them. And, um, you know, they, you all have a different group, so your friend might have a different orientation leader than you have, you know. But they'll be really cool, and it's always like a competition of whose group is the livest and all that fun stuff. And they guide you through, like, everything. You follow them on the tour. You split up by last name. And you, um, like, they go on a scavenger hunt. And that was fun, I guess. But go to the scavenger hunt and have fun because every activity is fun for the most part. So just go and, uh, yeah. What to expect? Um, expect a lot of fun. Meet new people. Like, don't be all shy. You may have been shy at home, but don't be shy at FAMU because nobody, you don't get anywhere pretty by being shy at FAMU. You need to just get out and network with people, say hi, my name is blah blah blah, I'm from blah blah blah, what's your name, you know, make friends, like, my friends that I made an orientation I hung out with the entire year, so your orientation friends could be your best friend, you never know. Um, 
also like the seminars don't skip the seminar you know you might not you might not want to know about financial aid but you might need to know about financial aid just go to everything you know have fun uh, participate don't sit down and just be like mm. it's orientation it's supposed to be fun like you don't have any homework to do so you may as well have fun one thing you cannot miss at orientation is tops it is really fun it's um, in Lee Hall it's on the last day of orientation no it's on Wednesday it's on Wednesday of orientation and um, you get there and it's like a just pretty much a showcase of all the different organizations and performing, you know, people on campus. It has like modeling troops, dance troops, Greeks, like everybody just having fun and just showing off. And it's just like a nice taste of fan view. So make sure you go to that. Get there early. The door open like 6.15. Get there early so you can get a good seat because I got there late and I ended up in the back with a bad seat and I was really upset. But just get there on, in, on time and have fun. So after Tops, they have a block party. So like directly after the let out of Tops, you walk over to the Rattler's Den. You'll learn where the Rattler's Den is. It's on the set. So it's like a preset Friday, but it's like at night. And it's really cute. Everybody, you know, strolling and enjoying themselves. They have like food and snacks, whatever. And, you know, it's just a nice little preview of family. That's really what orientation is. Preview of family, like what to expect. But it's going to be bigger when you get there in the fall because everybody's going to be there. Outside of orientation activities, like by family, you have free time. And, you know, if you're in college now, you're growing. You can do what you want. So what I did, I, well, the first night, me and my friends, we all walked to McDonald's. And McDonald's is not close. I don't suggest you walk to McDonald's. But it was fun because, you know, it was the first time being away from the house and in college. So we walked to McDonald's, we had a great time. It was a long walk, but it was very fun. And you know, that was real cute. And then the next night, since we got our Rattler cards, we tried to be fast and went to the club. But I mean, do what you wanna do. You don't have to go to the club, you can chill on the set. The set is always gonna be live when you're a freshman. So that's, you know, stay on the set, have fun, you know, do what you wanna do.